Hi guys, it's Gabriel and you're watching the Look Digital Signage channel. Through the last years, touch screens have truly become an integral part of our daily lives. We interact with them almost on an ongoing basis. And one only has to think about our smartphones and the total amount of time that we spend consuming all sorts of content from email checking to browsing the world news to social media feeds. And besides today, interactive screens are widely used in various business areas to provide a modern first-class customer experience. And these include, for example, wayfinding displays in shopping malls, shelf monitors in retail chains, and self-order kiosks in like fast food restaurants, etc. And in this video, I would like to show you how to turn on an ordinary touch monitor without an operating system inside into a fully fledged interactive display for your business in a matter of minutes. As an example, we take this monitor from the Japanese manufacturer Yama, which is famous for its high quality interactive displays. And this is a 22 inch ProLite T2252MHC for about 350 US dollars. In order to carry out the planned transformation, we first of all need to connect a compact media player to it. In this case, we use our flagship Look HD2218 Pro. But of course, you always have a choice among various options based on Android, Windows, Linux, or even macOS. So now let's plug the player into the HDMI input of our monitor and connect it to the sensor via a special USB connector. Well done. And for high quality work with our content, we need to sign in to the Look Content Manager. Here we go. We connect the screen to the system using the six digit code that appeared after connecting the player to the internet. Then based on the existing template in the layout section, we create a simple but nice scenario. Let's say for a mini hotel. We change the color of clickable widgets to your corporate one and uh, if necessary, reassign content items or other scenes that will be opened by clicking on them. After that, we change text. Also, let's create the weather plugin with our corporate color and uh, replace the previous one with a new one. Well, and the last step is to add our scenario to the screen. Now, let's take a look at the result. Let's try a couple of buttons. Uh, let's see if they work as expected. But as I see, everything works as expected and it looks impressive, doesn't it? So if you want to play around with it by yourself, there's nothing easier than that. There's always a 14 days free trial without any functional limitations available in the Look service. All the necessary links are down in the description. And I think that's it for all for today. Um, if this video was helpful for you, obviously do not hesitate to put your fingers up and subscribe to the channel. All the best and see you in the next video.